This is stock number HA166. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Today we are very excited to announce that we just received our first 2018 Jeep Wrangler JLs. These are one of the first in the state of Wisconsin to be delivered and we were lucky enough to get them. This particular one is a sport package. Now this one has the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar motor which pumps out 285 horsepower. This vehicle is completely redesigned and they are very sharp and they are very fast and they ride really nice. The sport package as you can see comes with the painted alloy rims and it comes with the Bridgestone Dueler 245-75 R17 tires. Good uh, tread pattern on those tires. They've made this Wrangler 200 pounds lighter overall and they've done that in a couple different ways but for the sake of this video we're just going to kind of get the overall view of the vehicle. See the front grille it's recessed a little bit, angled back. They did that for aerodynamics but it still has the seven slotted grille, the round headlights which are indicative of the Wrangler factory fog lights. As you can see they have the running lights and the turn signals in the fenders now on the front. And I guess what we'll do is we'll kind of just do a walk around here so you can get a good visual representation of the entire vehicle. Granite crystal is the color. This one has the hard top on it. And if you want a more in-depth informational video, I will be doing a video on this particular one with a little bit more of the specs and differences from the old Wrangler to this Wrangler. But for this particular video, we're just here to take a look at it, kind of give you an idea of how they look on the outside and then we'll check out the inside here in just a second. Very good look on the Wrangler while still maintaining, you know, the Wrangler identity. They have made these windows bigger, which is a really cool feature, so that you have more visibility inside the Wrangler. So the sport package gives you the black cloth interior. Really good, high quality material there. It does have the lumbar and the driver's seat height adjuster. These are what the new all-weather floor mats look like, so they still have the little holders on them and the topographic design on them as well. Power locks, that's how the handles look now. Um, power mirrors, of course. This one does come with the automatic headlamps. As we step into the uh, Wrangler here, you can see that the instrument cluster has been completely redesigned. It now has the seven inch TFT display and that's all customizable on the corners there. On the left you can see you have your compass and on the right you have the outside temperature. You have your fuel and your coolant temperature on the sides there and then your odometer is on the bottom. But a really good looking instrument cluster. The steering wheel has been redesigned as well. Kind of going in step with uh, the new Jeep steering wheels that are out on the market and such as the Cherokee and the Compass but this one is just a little bit different than either the Cherokee or the Compass a little bit different design which would make sense for the Wrangler as they always do a little bit different stuff for the Wrangler now this is the 7 inch touchscreen radio so they offer this and they also offer the 8.4 touchscreen radio which is just a little bit bigger uh, this one has AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities uh, you can do your climate control and your uh, heated seat controls as well. This one also has the heated steering wheel. The biggest thing for me on the Wrangler so far is that it has a backup camera. 
Now, Wranglers were always kind of, you know, knocked for not having backup cameras, but they have backup cameras, and what did Jeep do? They gave it the best backup camera on the market. I mean, look how crystal clear that camera is. That is like ultra 4K HD, I'd say. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually 4K, but it's definitely high definition. Um, this one has AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities as well. Um, very cool looking radio. They've redesigned the shifter. It also has the 4x4 shifter on the floor. They've also redesigned the key fob. So kind of going along with being just a little bit different than all the other rest of the Jeeps. They made this key fob just a little bit different than the rest of the Jeeps. It's, it's a really kind of a, a manly key fob, heavier. But as you can see, we also have the start-stop technology, which is new to the Wrangler this year, which helps you get better fuel economy. And this transmission is the new 8-speed automatic transmission for the Wrangler. So uh, gets you a lot better fuel economy, and it also makes it a lot quicker of a vehicle. Passenger seat, you can see that design. They also changed the interior design on these panels on the top. It's got a kind of an eggshell type finish to it. Also up here, new for this year and new for this model, is they have the home link system so you can program your garage doors or lighting systems to this vehicle and you don't have to have the actual um, clicker for your garage doors in the vehicle. You have an AUGS, um, looks like a USB-C charger, which is nice if you have one of the new Android phones, and then it has a USB um, hookup as well. So you could, that will pair to your radio, or it will also charge your uh, phone or device or whatever you may have. We'll take a quick look at the back seats. So you can see back here the new uh, floor mats. So it's actually a two-piece floor mat that connects in the middle. And the back seats, I noticed there's, there's more room in the back now, which is a really nice feature and it does come with the latch child safety systems. These seats do fold down for uh, extra storage or whatever, and uh, they go almost completely flat, which is pretty similar to the old ones, but there's, there's a lot more room between the front seat and this seat that you're not scraping the back of the front seat because that was always kind of a issue putting those down. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the back storage area here as well. Now your backup camera is going to be right there on your tire carrier. Now that's factory, so that comes from the factory now, which they never had. You always have to had to do a Mopar add-on. Has the Alpine subwoofer, which they've placed on the side here, and uh, I don't think adding that subwoofer takes away any storage area. It might, but I don't think it does that you may have lost in before when you had the Alpine right here and then you kind of lost this area. Or when they had them in the floor from 2015 to 2018 in the JKs, they had them in the floor. Well, then you lost all your storage area underneath here. So I really like that they put it over there. And then of course you have all the holders kind of the same as before for your door hinge bolts and your roof bolts and now the windshield bolts. They made the windshield really a lot easier to take down so they added that so that you can store those easier and then you have a holder for your uh, lighting hookup when you have your top off because you never really knew where to put that before but now you do you got a spot that it clips right into it and it'll hold it securely as well as your windshield washer fluid hose um, otherwise pretty much the same as far as the hard top works they also do the stamp on the back of the Jeep that gives you some of the specs where it was built, where it was developed, and then uh, some of the off-road characteristics such as you can do 30 inches of water fording at 5 miles per hour and uh, just gives you a little bit of the wheelbase specs and stuff for the two-door and the four-door. So kind of a neat feature right there. They made this rear gate out of aluminum and magnesium. It's like a kind of a composite. They also change the frame with to a high strength steel so that's a little bit lighter and more rigid than the old ones they've also changed these hinges on here so 
that comes off like that and then when you want to put it back on you just kind of have to latch that and then that goes like that but pretty easy to get down I'll be also doing a video on our Rubicon that we have and uh, that one's cool because it has the LED lighting group which we'll get to take a look at but make sure to check out the other videos that we got going on for the new JL engine bay 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar same horsepower but I'm I'm telling you this vehicle is a lot faster than the JK just because of that 8 speed transmission so anyways uh, this is the new 2018 JL one of the first ones in the state between this one and our Rubicon that we got I think the Rubicon came off the trailer first but hard to say Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. If you like this one, want to make it yours, give us a call right now, 920-921-0850. Ask for one of our sales associates to make this 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited JL yours today. Once again, that number is 920-921-0850. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like it, want to go check out more videos of our Wranglers, go to youtube.com slash summit auto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos there. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to more um, to our YouTube channel to subscribe to it on your left a link to more Wrangler videos like this one on your right if you haven't been to our website on the bottom a link to this vehicle on our website click those check us out and we really look forward to helping you with this super clean brand new 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited JL thanks again